What is up, F and True followers and wrestling fans? You are watching the F and Brand of Wrestling and Entertainment here on YouTube.com. My name is JC Styles, and I am back with the Impact review for April 11, 2013. I gotta say, tonight's Impact really wasn't all that, in my opinion. Um, it felt like it was rushed just to get to the main event, and then the main event really wasn't all that great either. Um, we start off the show, we get a quick look at all the Ace and Ace activity over the last several weeks. We then go into the two out of three falls match for the TNA Tag Team titles. If Chavo and Hernandez lose, they have to split up as a tag team for good. If they win, they get the TNA Tag Team titles. Uh, after being attacked from behind, we saw Aries and Rude take the first fall over Chavo and Hernandez. Then Chavo and Hernandez took the second and third fall for the win for the titles, and they remain a tag team, so we have new tag team champions. Honestly, I didn't really like this match. I was really hoping that this team would have been broken up. I really wanted to see that because I went ahead and I read some of the spoilers for the uh, pay-per-views, that special pay-per-views that TNA is going to be doing, and one of, uh, one of my favorite tag teams will be returning at that for one night only, so I was really hoping that they would have... Uh, they would have had Chavo and Hernandez break up. We then go into Joey Ryan talking with Brooke Hogan backstage after the events of last week. Joey Ryan uh, putting his hands on the, the, the knockouts, flirting with the knockouts. Uh, we saw Brooke announce that tonight there will be a new referee for the knockouts division. And then that she was putting Joey Ryan in a match tonight. Uh, we then see a segment with Devon and Joseph Parks. Uh, I actually stepped out of the room for a minute, and I came back, and this segment was on. Um, I got to catch the last closing moments of this segment, and it really wasn't nothing to call home about either. Uh, we wind up seeing the official uh, referee announced for the Knockouts division, and it is ODB. We saw Taryn Terrell pick up the win over Gail Kim in a pretty good match. It was uh thought it was pretty decent. It could have been a lot better in my mind. Uh, but again, it, it's what it is. It is what it is. I mean, the Knockouts division is nowhere as good as it used to be. And I was talking with Brian about that the other day. That the Knockouts division years ago was so much better than it is now. I mean, you had Angelina Love, you had uh, Gail Kim. You had well, Gail Kim was part of the Knockouts division. You had <laughs> obviously, um, you had Awesome Kong. You had Daphne. You had uh, you still have Velvet. You had so many knockouts that were there that were hard wrestlers, hard workers. Um, Taylor Wilde and so many others, Hamada, and you know other divas. I mean, other knockouts. Excuse me, that really could wrestle. And now all you have is you got Mickey, you got Tara, and you got Gail Kim. You know, and it's just, I don't know. I just, not really liking where the women's wrestling is going compared to where the women's wrestling was a few years ago in TNA and in WWE. But I'm going to keep this review mo moving on. We see uh, the gut check contestants, Magno and Adam Pierce. We find out who will go on to uh, face the judges in the gut check uh, later in the night. We see Hulk Hogan backstage. He calls out AJ Styles uh, when we come back from commercial and says that he wants an answer what's going on in his head. And this just gets drawn out some more. Uh, we wind up, this whole segment winds up leading to uh, James Storm versus AJ next week on Impact. And I saw Daniels and Kazarian were trying to recruit. Uh, AJ, Ace and H are trying to recruit AJ, Hogan's trying to recruit AJ, and James Storm just wants to know what's going on. So, yeah. We then see a backstage segment where Kurt Angle says that the feud between TNA and Ace and H just begun. It starts tonight with Jeff Hardy winning the title. He will be a part of it next week. He asked Hogan for a match next week. It will be Kurt versus Wes and Garrett in a handicap match. Kurt will show why he is the baddest SOB. Um, we then see uh, Rob Terry pick up the win over Joey Ryan, who was the uh, surprise opponent for Joey Ryan, Rob Terry, and who uh, Brooke Hogan had picked out for Joey Ryan. Again, match could have been a lot better. Uh, I've seen Joey Ryan perform better than uh, what he uh, better be prior to this match. He could have done a lot more, but I know that this was kind of supposed to be like a punishment match. But 
Then we then go into gut check. Uh, Adam Pierce was sent home earlier in the night, and then Magno gets turned down as well. So we have no gut check winner this year, this week. I said, oh, I almost said this year. Um, we then go into the TNA World Title Full Metal Mayhem match. This was pretty good. I actually enjoyed this match. Whenever you get Bully Ray and Jeff Hardy in a match with ladders, uh, tables, ladders, and chairs, you know it's going to be good. Um, the outcome was. Taz uh, handed Bully a hammer who was outside in the ring after getting put through a table by Jeff Hardy after getting hit with a swanton bomb being put through the table. <clears throat> and uh, we see uh, Bully take the hammer and put, put it in his pants. And then as Jeff's ha ha walking up and climbing the ladder, Bully pulls out the hammer and bonk right in the head to Jeff Hardy. And eight, uh, Bully Ray grabs the uh, title. Now... He then cuts a promo, says, you know who I am. I'm Bully Ray. I'm, we're the Aces and Aids. I'm the president. I'm the TNA champion, etc. Um, honestly, like I said, I don't know. This kind of didn't feel like uh, a good show to me. Um, I think the wrestling wasn't all there. The wrestling could have been a lot better. Uh, you know, And I really don't want to sound like I'm bashing TNA because I really love... I really enjoy watching TNA because, you know, I started watching it for the X Division, and I'm really looking forward to the X, uh, the TNA's extravaganza pay-per-view where it's going to be all X Division. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And I really hope that uh, next week's Impact is going to be better. This week just really wasn't there for me. I wasn't fully entertained like I should have been. And I'm sorry if this review is all over the place, but I'm just trying so hard to hold back a lot of my true feelings of what I thought about this show. So, guys, please leave your comments in the comment box below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and what you thought of tonight's TNA Impact. And I'm JC Styles, and I'll catch you later. Have a safe early morning commute, and enjoy your weekend.